At SSIS, we have several subscription-based databases and resources for our students to use. Over the next few minutes, I would like to share with you some of those resources and how to access them through the school website or through the online public access catalog or the OPAC. The OPAC, or as we call it, Destiny, allows students to search for resources that we have in the library. And on the home page of Destiny, you can see many, many links that go directly to the subscription databases that the school has for your students. Let's take a few minutes to look at the different databases that are there. You'll see that the subscription databases are listed on the home page. And from there, if you click on those links, that will take you directly to the SSIS subscription, which will allow you to have access to that database. BrainPop and BrainPop Junior are filled with videos and, and a few games and quizzes with lots of information on a variety of different topics. Please note that it is only available during regular school hours, so if you happen to have a child homesick during the day that's up to doing something online, that's a good option for them when they're at home. Britannica Image Quest allows students to find images that they can pop into their different projects and they are royalty-free images that they are free to use at any time. Britannica Encyclopedia is a full digital encyclopedia with many um, wonderful options including allowing students to search and then have read to them. It's glossary built in, very intuitive and very user-friendly. The readability can be a little bit high at times, but there are options there as well. Three different levels allow children to find something that's appropriate for them from probably at least second grade and onwards. Kids Info Bits is a search tool for finding lots and lots of information. It takes the children to pre-approved websites. We know that it's a safe spot for kids to do information searching at any time. PebbleGo is a primary database really designed for children in the early grades and has some wonderful images and video clips and um, simplified text for students who are emergent readers. Excellent resource for young children. Tumble Books is a wonderful ebook program. They're animated books for the most part. Children can take quizzes. There are some activities that follow. And really the children can, can view the books from home at any time. If you happen to have an iPad or other Android tablet, you can also download the app and have books from home as well. Great resource for online reading. World Book Encyclopedia is a full encyclopedia. It has three different levels, elementary, middle school, and secondary school, and just lots and lots of information. The same thing that you would find in the traditional paper versions but much more because it has video graphics, it has the ability to read aloud to the students, it has built-in glossaries, and um, many options including how to cite the sources that you find there. Another great option for doing research. Returning to Destiny, when you go to the catalog tab over on the left-hand column, you will then find something called WebPath Express. This resource is wonderful in that it is a selection of websites that have been pre-approved by teachers and librarians on a variety of topics. Children can type in keywords or key phrases and it will do searches and it will find websites that are appropriate for children of a variety of ages. And the ages are shown off to the right side. Children can narrow down their search to find only websites that are appropriate for their age. Really good resource also through Destiny. Another resource that you will find on our homepage of Destiny is called the Intranet Public Library. And it is a safe site also for children to do searching on the Intranet. It has many, many websites that have been pre-approved by teachers and librarians, appropriate on a number of subject areas, and just another option for children to use when they're looking to, to be in a more secure searching environment. And this particular resource is actually free, so you can have it on your home computers as well. Another free resource that we will be using this year with many of our classes is called NetSmart Kids. It is a wonderful intranet site that teaches children all about online safety. It has excellent videos and games and just lots of fun um, pieces of information that will help the children to stay safer online. The last thing I want to share with you today is our elementary library blog. You can actually access the blog by going to the homepage or Destiny again and checking underneath other resources and kid-friendly search tools, you will see a link 
that says a library blog. If you click on that, it takes you to the blog. On our blog, we have some resources for you, access to the same resources we've talked about now, but also some um, recommended book lists. I'll be adding things on here, hopefully weekly or bi-weekly, uh, points of interest for reading, for um, IT integration, and a variety of different things. So please do check the blog. I will be updating it regularly. And um, I hope that you will enjoy that and give me any feedback that you would have, things that you'd like to see added there that might be helpful to you, helpful resources. And please don't hesitate to come let us know if you have any book titles or other resource ideas that we might be able to add to our library collection that would help your children um, in their schoolwork and in their studies and even their pleasure reading. We know that children tend to stop reading when they get a little bit older and we want to try to engage them and keep them reading as long as possible. And so I hope that um, you will give me any feedback that you may have about your children that would help us to keep them reading as they get into the higher grades and especially as they get into even beyond elementary into middle and high school. So thank you so much for listening and um, being here today and please again let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you.